one of this 21 day girl challenge. I am so happy that you're doing this with me. These 21 days are going to feel awesome. We're going to work really hard and we're definitely going to feel a transformation after it's done. Today though is day number one and we are going to be doing a full body workout. No equipment needed. All you need is a soft surface like a mat and it's apartment friendly. Let's do it. Alrighty, so the very first thing that we're going to do, let's warm up our whole body with a one minute plank. It's going to be a 30 second high plank followed by a 30 second forearm plank. You can place your knees down on the mat at any point and then come back with us when you're ready. That's going to get started in three, in two, in one high plank. Let's go. So you're going to start to notice that I actually like to start all of my workouts in a plank position. And actually for 21 days here, you're going to start to notice that maybe these plank positions get a little bit easier. I do promise you they do get easier every single time you do them. We have less than 10 seconds. Push the floor away from you for five, for four, for three, two, one. Let's come down here. Let's come into a forearm plank. Remember, you can always lower the knees down towards the mat. You can clasp your hands together to make this just a little bit easier here. You can also walk your feet further away from each other. Don't forget to breathe in and out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one let that go so let's move into our core so we are going to start in a tabletop position here what i want you to do is interlace your hands behind your head you're gonna link knee and elbows together so you're gonna really crunch it together lift the shoulder blades up and then you're actually gonna be lower everything down so really exhaling as you crunch here and then inhaling on the way down keep the low back press down towards the mat. You're going to give me 20 seconds here with a 10 second hold. Now for the hold, I actually want us just to hold in a tabletop position. So your knees are in line with the hips and you're lifting the shoulder blades up off your mat, keeping the low back glued down towards your mat. Then we're going to stay in this position. It's going to get super juicy. You're going to drop one leg down, back to center, drop the other leg, back to center, keeping the low back down your mat. If it's too much, you can keep the shoulder blades down. So that's gonna be 20 seconds, followed by a 10 second pulse before we bring our feet down. You're gonna be giving me a normal crunch for 20 seconds and then a 10 second pulse. We're just gonna do that two times. So this whole sequence, we're just gonna be doing it twice, okay? So really making it count every single time. We're gonna get started in that tabletop crunch, that variation in three, in two, in one, let's go. So together and then bring it down. So really crunch knee and elbows together and then bring everything down. If you can, link the movement with your breath. Can you give me that exhale on the crunch? Inhale on the way down. We're gonna hold in three, two, one, hold right here. So as you hold, can you bring your knees a little bit further back? Because we do want them to be in line with our hips. Flex the toes. Okay, guys, we're going to drop one leg down in three, two, one, drop a foot back to center. Ooh, drop the other back to center. Again, if it gets too much, you can lower the shoulder blades down, but if you can keep them lifted, we have a pulse here coming up in three, in two, in one tabletop pulse for 10 seconds here. Just tiny little pulses. Good. Again, keep the knees further back. I definitely need to in three, in two, in one feet down. Let's crunch up and lower Woo, up and down i don't know about you guys definitely already feeling that burn it's awesome when we feel the burn if it's burning it's working you have a pulse in three in two in one stay lifted pulse and pulse and pulse remember we're just going to repeat that sequence one final time get ready three and two and one let's do this so crunching everything together and then bringing it apart. Exhale on the crunch. Inhale as you bring it apart. Woo! This is one of my favorite core exercises, really targeting the entire core here. You have a hold in three, 
in two, in one, stay lifted, hold in this tabletop position, lift the shoulder blades up a bit higher, bring the knees a little bit further back in three, in two, in one, drop a leg, bring it back to center, woo, drop the other, bring it back, my core is on fire. Good. Try to bring the foot a little bit further away from the glutes, right? If you're just tapping down, we're not really engaging the lower core very much. All right, we have that pulse in three and two in one. Let's pulse it, pulse, woo, pulse, and pulse. Holy guacamole. This is a good core section. I love it. All right, you guys, three, two, one, feet down. We go up and lower. We go up and down. I love planning these and then when I actually do them and I really feel that burn, I'm like, oh, that was a good sequence. <laughs> and that's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, guys, you have that final pulse in three, in two, in one, stay lifted. Pulse for ten, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Good job. Grab a sip of water. All right. So again, full body workout. We're now going to work our glutes. We're going to do a bridge sequence. You're going to notice in our full body workouts, I definitely love a bridge. It's not only targeting, you know, our glutes, but our legs and the core as well. So your feet are six inches apart, toes face forward, arms by your side, palms pressed down towards the floor. You're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Keep the shoulders blades down on the mat, maintain a neutral spine, and then lower them back down. If you're listening to your favorite song, you can move your hips up and down to the beat of a song, but we're going to get started here in three, in two, in one. We go up and down. We lift and hover, lift and hover. So if you can, what I mean by lifting and hovering is that you're just hovering the glutes over the mats. So you're not quite bringing them all the way down here. It just lets you have a little bit more control over the movement. Now, you can really press down into the palms, especially as you lift your hips up and down. You go up and down. But if you feel like, I don't really need my, my arms at all for any support, you can always inhaling them up towards the ceiling as you lift your hips up and down. Hips go up and down. You're really squeezing the glutes together, especially at the top. You squeeze and hover. We squeeze and hover. So starting to feel that heat in the low body. You're always engaging the core. We have a movement coming up here. What we're going to do is keep our hips elevated. You're going to move your heels up and down in three, in two, in one, hips up. Lift your heels up, walk your toes a bit closer towards the glutes. Now your heels go down and up, down and up. You're still keeping your hips elevated. You're still squeezing the glutes together. You got it, we go down and up, down and up. Core strong, glutes tight. All you're moving are your heels so that you're really working your calf muscles. Okay, so we have another movement coming up. We're gonna keep our heels elevated. We're gonna go back to moving our hips down and up in three, two, one. Keep the heels elevated, go back to down and up. We go down and up, woo, down and up, down and up. You got it, breathe. So you're starting to feel that shake, starting to feel that burn, and that's awesome. Our first round of bridges is almost done, so stay with it. If you need to, you can keep your arms right here. You can also inhale them up towards the ceiling. All right, you have a final pulse coming up. Then you're done this first round of bridges in three, two, one, let's pulse our hips to pulse, and pulse, and pulse, woo, pulse, good, up, squeeze, 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 you're almost there, stay with it, pulse, and pulse, and pulse, give me ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower down, give yourself a little squeeze here. I've been doing bridges for years, bodily bridges, and they get me every single time. We're just gonna do one more round, okay? So we're gonna inhale one of our legs up towards the ceiling, 
your leg can be slightly bent. All you're going to do again is lift the leg up and down and pulse before we switch our legs. So that's going to start in three, in two, in one. Let's do this up and down, up, down, up and down. Good, all right, so <laughs> breathing through this. Now I really want you to press your right big toe down towards the mat, especially every single time you lift it up and down. Good, up and lower, you go up and down. We only have a couple more moments with this variation before we go into a pulse and then switch our legs. So stay with me, give me five, give me four, give me three, give me two, and one, stay lifted, let's pulse and pulse and pulse, woo! Oh my goodness, definitely feeling this. So really pressing the right big toe down towards the mat. Stay with it, you're breathing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left leg down, right leg up. We go up and down, good, up and down. Otherwise, if you're using the other legs, you're just switching out your legs. <laughs> up and lower, up and down. All right, you guys, so last round here for this sequence of bridges. Give it all you've got, really targeting the glutes and the inner thighs, especially in this one here. Making sure that your core is strong and that you're not holding your breath. You have those pulses coming up. Press the left big toe down towards your mat. Get ready for that pulse in three, in two, in one. Stay lifted, let's pull. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Woo, pulse. You're almost there. Love the burn. Good. Love the shake. Stay with me. I'm right here with you. Press the left big toe down towards the mat. You're almost there for 10, for 9, for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one holy good work bring your knees in towards the chest grab a sip of water i'm gonna sneak in another plank here okay stay with me we are going to start in a high plank you're gonna give me some hip dips so just hovering the hip side to side if that's too much just lower your knees down towards the mat as you hover your hips from side to side then we're gonna come into our forearm plank seesaw you're just gonna bring the weight forward and then shift it back it's 30 seconds each you can always lower your knees down towards the mat in three in two, in one, let's go for it. So starting with these hip dips, I really wanna see if you can make this movement maybe a little bit um, smaller than we're used to. So instead of doing a super large range of motion, let's just see if it can be actually a slight hip tilt, I should probably call it. You have 10 seconds, squeeze the glutes together, draw the lower belly in for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, let's come down, give me that seesaw. So just bringing the weight forward and back. We go forward and back. You can lower your knees down towards the mat. Don't hesitate to do that. Draw the low belly in, squeeze the glutes together. Feel that shake, feel that burn for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one holy i'm shaking that's good shake it out awesome work all right so slowly standing up we are going to target our legs next we're going to do a step out squat using the same leg and then we're going to do the other reps on the following leg so stay with it what we're going to do is we're going to step out about six inch distance hip distance apart sink the hips down low chest is lifted core is strong before you bring the foot back so a step out squat for 20 seconds this is what we're going to do afterwards though you're going to lift the right heel up the weight is centered you're going to pulse here for 10 seconds then you're going to hold for 10 seconds before you come back and then you go right into your step out squats it's going to be four rounds on one leg four rounds on the opposite leg it's going to feel juicy but awesome so let's get started in three in two in one let's 
step it out low, come back to center. Now, you can really take your time. You can either go slow or fast or to the beat of the music that you're listening to, whatever it may be, but I wanna make sure you're breathing. Good, in three, two, and one. Stay low, right heel lifts up, the weight is centered. You're pulsing for 10 seconds. It's only 10 seconds. We have a hold coming up in three, in two, in one, hold for 10 seconds. Now, if it's too much to keep the right heel up, you can have it lifted. You're still working super hard if you're staying right here. In three, in two, in one, let's come back. Sink the hips down low, come back to center. I really like to take my time in my squats because sometimes I feel like if I rush the movement, that's when I can maybe hurt myself or anything like that. So really just controlling each movement in three, in two, in one, stay down low, lift the heel and pulse. So you really wanna make sure throughout these whole series that we're paying attention to how our bodies are feeling it, doing it in a nice way. In three, two, one, let's hold. I talk way too much. <laughs> Gotta keep my eye on the timer, guys. You have two more rounds in three, two, one, let's go. Step it out, sink the hips down low. Now when you're coming down low, make sure you're lifting the chest up. Watch that you're not sinking your head down. You do wanna keep the chin elevated. All right, you guys, you have that pulse in three, in two, in one, stay low, pulse for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this is it. This is it. This is gonna be your final round with this leg. Make a count. How low can you go? How low can you go? You can go a little bit lower. I know you can, all right, you have five more seconds. We have that final pulse, that final hold in three, two, one, let's pulse it, all right. Now I encourage you, can you come down just a little bit lower? Yes, you can, three, two, one, you have a hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, shake it out. All right, so we have it on the other side. Right away, let's do this in three, two, one. Opposite leg steps out and comes back in. You sink your hips down low and then you meet back in center. Watch that your feet, they're parallel. They're pointing straight and you are sinking down low. Your feet are about six inches apart. Three, two, one, you have that first pulse. Lift the left heel up if you can. You're pulsing here, your core is strong. Chest is lifted for three, two, one. You're holding for 10 seconds. Now guys, if you're anything like me, you're already feeling that burn, that's good. Stay with it for three, two, one. Let's go. Three more rounds. Breathing through it, I'm right here with you. We can do this, we got this full body workout. First day of our 21 days together, guys. Thank you for choosing to do this with me in three, two, one, pulse for 10 seconds. Woo, you'll notice I love a pulse and I love a hold. You have three, two, one, hold 10 seconds. I am absolutely feeling this burn. Feels awesome just breathing through it for three, two, one, let's go. We only have two more rounds here. Just two more rounds and then we're done. For the majority of our legs, we might have sneakily a couple more leg exercises to do, but the major legs are gonna be done after this in three, in two, in one. Let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. All right, guys, just like that, this is it. This is the moment, <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. It's our final round. So make it count. Can you come down just a bit lower every single time? Core is strong, core is engaged. 
focuses on let's do this you have that final pulse in three in two in one let's pulse all right you guys because it's the last round you know it let's see if you can come down just a bit lower Woo! all right we're gonna hold in three in two in one hold ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one shake it out Alrighty, so we're gonna come back down to our mats. We have our final little core exercise. You're almost done your workout. You guys are doing great. So we're gonna go into our ankle tabs. This is one of my favorite exercises lately. So the closer your heels are towards the glutes, the easier it can be. So you can always walk the heels further away from your glutes. So what you're gonna do is reach for one ankle and then you're gonna reach for the opposite ankle. It's gonna be 20 seconds here. Then 10 seconds afterwards, you're gonna pulse to one side, whatever side you want. You're gonna go back into that 20 second reach and then you're gonna pulse for 10 seconds on the opposite side. All right, you guys, you're just gonna do four rounds of that. So it's gonna be two sets of pulses for 10 seconds on each side in three in two in one let's reach and reach we reach and reach so keeping the low back press down towards your mat doesn't have to be very fast you can exhale every single time you reach I like to bring my hand behind my head you have your pulse in three two, one, hold to one side and you're pulsing here for 10 seconds. So reaching for that ankle, remember which side you pulse because you're going to pulse on the opposite side. Three, two, one, let's reach and reach. So you have 20 more seconds of these ankle taps before we're going to pulse on the opposite side, pulsing the opposite ankle. Stay with me for five, for four, for three, two, one, pulse on the opposite side for 10 seconds. Woo! Good work. If it gets too much, you can bring both hands behind your head and really giving me that pulse in three, two, one, two more rounds. Let's reach and reach now if your feet they're super close towards your glutes in these last couple of rounds let's see if perhaps you can bring them just a bit further away so that you are reaching a little bit further for three for two for one pulse 10 seconds this is the final pulse on this side can you reach a little bit further good you got this for three for two for one this is it final round working upper middle core but really targeting our obliques good obliques on fleek on fire whatever it is <laughs> stay with it for five for four for three for two, for one, final pulse, 10 seconds, you got this. Reach a little bit further, for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Right, we're just gonna Let do a quick arm workout. It's gonna be 20 seconds for each exercise. The first one is going to be a 20 second shoulder tap, tapping one shoulder at a time. Modification, you're doing just as much if you're just on your knees here. Then we're gonna swing our legs around. We're gonna go into a tricep dip. For the tricep dips, you can keep your knees bent. What I wanna make sure though, is that your wrists are in line with the shoulders, your fingertips are pointing towards your feet. Now, if you do have your hips, uh, sorry, your legs bent, make sure it's not the hips that are coming down and up. It's really the uh, triceps that are moving your hips down and up. And another option is to keep your legs straight as you really bend the elbows uh, down and up. All right, so we're just gonna do the sequence twice. Quick and dirty, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get started here in three, in two, in one, starting with those shoulder taps, let's go. Now I encourage you if, you're, if you are up on your toes to have your feet further away from one another to just avoid a rock in the hips. Again, you can be right here. Great modification for this movement. You have three, you have two, you have one. Right away, swing the legs, and then let's go into our tricep dips. It's only 20 seconds. Personally, I do like to have my legs straight just because I feel like I cheat a little bit when I have my legs bent. Just so you know, I find this super challenging, one of the most challenging arm workouts. You have three, 
two, and one. Give your arm just a quick shake here. All right, you guys, we're gonna do this just one more time, okay? Feel free to do this on your knees. Get ready in three, and two, and one. Let's go. So something I am definitely working on in my shoulder taps is trying not to move my hips. Uh, so to help me, I really bring my feet further away from each other or I just come down towards my knees, all right? You have three, you have two, you have one, all right? Final 20 seconds. You got this. Let's go down and up down and out. So I feel you. My upper body definitely needs a little bit more work. So I'm super excited for this 21 day challenge. All right. Even if you're just giving me one, that is totally amazing. In three, in two, in one. Let that go. Shake, shake, shake it out. Do one final glute workout and then that's it. That's all for day one for this full body workout. We're going to come into a tabletop position. If your wrists are feeling tender from doing our arm work, you can always meet down in a forearm plank. It's not going to be very um, hard here. All we're going to do, starting with one leg, you're going to keep it bent. Flex the toes down towards the floor. You're going to lift the leg up, bring it back in. We're going to go in into our donkey kicks. Drawing the lower belly and maintaining a neutral spine. You're gonna do this for a couple of moments, then I'll tell you to keep your leg lifted, you're gonna pulse, and then we're actually gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna do it on the other side. This is it, this is all, you're almost done. Stay with me, let's get ready. In three, in two, in one. Beginning with, with any leg that you choose, can't talk, um, but just remember, try to switch it up once in a while. If you are doing certain exercises like donkey kicks or any sort of glute exercise, even leg workouts, try to see if we can alternate um, legs. I always usually start with my right leg, today I'm starting with my left just to switch things up. Flexing your toes down towards the floor. You have your first pulse coming up in three, two, one, pulse to the sky. Let's pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Remember, if it's too difficult to be up on your uh, arms here, up on your hands, you can come down to your forearms. You have three, you have two, you have one. Let's go in and up. Final time here, feeling that burn. You got it, you're almost there really squeezing at the top you have your final pulse coming up breathe draw the lower belly in in five in four in three two one pulse to the sky let's pulse and pulse and pulse work those glutes let's pulse and pulse and pulse check this out give me ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one taking a second letting that go let's switch and do it on the opposite side all righty getting ready here stay with it in three in two in one other side you go up and it ooh, feels good on the other side <laughs> nice it always starts that way until we get into that juicy pulse until we get into that territory where we really feel that burn. All right, couple more seconds here. Make sure you're not overarching the back. That's something I tend to do. Draw the lower belly in, flex your toes down towards the floor, getting ready for that pulse in three, in two, in one. Let's pulse it, pulse and pulse and pulse, pulse. Good. Again, you can always have that opportunity to bring your forearms down on the mat instead of being on your hands. You have five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we are almost there. This is it. You're almost done your workout. All we've got, all the energy that you have left. Let's use it here. Let's finish strong. All right, couple more seconds. Coming into that final pulse. Get ready for it in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's do this. Pulse and pulse, pulse, pulse. Glutes on fire. <laughs> Good. 
stay with it. Work those glutes for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Nice job, everyone. Give yourself a nice stretch after doing this full body workout. Thank you so much for completing day number one with me of this 21 Day Girl Challenge. I cannot wait to do day number two.